All right, so we're going to uh, toss a coin two times, and we're going to assume it's a, a fair coin for this. Uh, does knowing that a head occurs on the first toss change the probability of getting a heads on the second toss? Well, this is actually asking about the independence of the events of getting a heads on the second toss. What's the probability of a heads on the second toss? And uh, what's the probability of a heads on the second toss given the first toss was a heads itself? So we're going to take a look at this and see if we can prove these uh, events are independent or not. So when I'm tossing coins uh, there, uh, two times, there's four possible combinations that can occur. I, I can get uh, a heads and a heads. So heads on the first toss, heads on the second toss. A heads and then tails. A tail then a head. Or a tail and a tail. So if we look at just the unconditional probability that the uh, second toss is a head, I see that there are two different ways this can occur out of the four possible. Since uh, we've got a fair coin, we can assume all of these are equal likely. So I just need to count the number of ways that this event occurs out of the number possible. Now the conditional one says that, okay, I want to find the probability that the second toss is ahead given that the first toss was heads. So whenever we have a conditional probability, that tells me that I have a, a, a new universe or a new sample space that I'm dealing with. I can only look at these outcomes. The first toss was a heads, so that was a heads and a heads, or a heads and a tails. Those are the only two outcomes under this given information. Under this sample space, find a probability that the second toss is a head. Well, when I look at this new sample space, again, we have that fair coin, so these are equal likely. It only occurs one out of the two times, so I'm using my uh, counting property for finding the probability, and what I see is that these probabilities are the same. And so that tells me that uh, the event that the second toss is ahead is independent of the event that the first toss was ahead as our given piece of information. So remember, when we're proving that um, two events are independent of each other, we have this general statement that must be true for independence. Probability of A given B has to equal the probability of A if and only if A and B are independent. If the events happen to be dependent, what would happen is that when you look at this statement, you'll find that it'll be a false. That when you compute uh, the probability of A given B, if it's not the same as probability of A, then we're guaranteed that they are not independent of each other. So if this is true, that's only if A and B are not independent.